name is Satwan Singh Mahajan, Director, Elite Studios, Nairobi, Kenya. Today, everything is online. Students are doing their tuitions online, setting exams online. Why don't we learn about this online as well? This training is purely designed for people who have just acquired their first entry-level camera, those who have passion for photography. It's certainly not meant for the professionals. I have always been fond of young people who want to learn. I have 50 years of experience and knowledge. I want to part this knowledge to them. They are our future ambassadors. Parents who are watching this program Please encourage your children to take active part in this. It will take them a long way to learn photojournalism. This training will be divided into three portions, basic, intermediate and advanced. This is going to take several weeks, but today we are going to start with introduction to photography. This is digital age. But before we understand digital photography, I think it's important for us to understand a little bit about analog. This is the picture of Elite Studios in the 1950s. This is the way we started. Let's have a look at another image. The gentleman behind the counter is demonstrating a 35 millimeter camera. In the background, you can see lots of 35 millimeter cameras. This gentleman here is arranging all those films. Now you can see there were so many different types of films there and the photographers had to carry so many films in their gadget bag. All that has been replaced by sensor on your digital camera. This is now the black and white days. The gentleman here in the foreground has got a dust enlarger. He's put a negative in the negative carrier up there and he's got an easel mask where he's going to compose the picture. The gentleman at the back has got a 35 millimeter negative and he's scanning and then later he will do retouching with little brush something that we don't use this anymore because we have the Lightroom facilities. Uh, these are various models of 35 millimeter camera. We have uh, three models of Minolta and then we have Yashica. These are 35 millimeter cameras. At that time we used to use films as opposed to sensor. This is the back of the camera. The film used to go here and then you roll it up onto that and then you wind it on and you take a picture. Now all this has been replaced by sensor on the digital camera. I'll tell you about my journey into photography. It was a very difficult one. I was thrown into the deep end and I had to swim my way out. There were no computers, no online tutorials and I had to depend on my book of instructions for various cameras and learn the hard way. Now, what is photography? Photography is not a science, it's an art. I'll give you a little story here of my school days. Way back 60 years ago, I had an art teacher. He kept on emphasizing, you can only express your feelings through paintbrushes, colors, drawings, etc. I was a student, absolutely naive. Had to accept whatever he said. Today, I beg to differ. You can, and I say with full confidence and loudly, can express your feelings and emotions through your camera. You can achieve this with little imagination 
and I for composition. I will show you how to do this later on in my presentation. Photography is an art that requires passion, commitment and prayer for capturing moments as they unfold. You can achieve this if you have the right equipment, knowledge which you are going to gain so that you can beautifully express your feelings and emotions through your camera and become a creative photographer. Thank you so much for listening. Below this video I have provided the links to the exercise files which you can download and use them as you practice. I'll be happy to hear from you, see what you have done. If you like to share your work with me, I have also provided my email address below the link. You can send me your images directly to that email address. Thank you.